So this is the current situation. We have about 10 minutes, smack myself in the face, to pull it all together. So I figured we'd do like a quick mom makeup glow up situation. I have to go get my nails done. They're just absolutely atrocious. Here's what I do to pull it together really quickly on like a gloomy day where it's like, this is the last thing I wanna do, but I need to pull it together. You know what I mean? First thing, I'm gonna splash my face with some cold water. I don't wash with cleanser in the morning. I'm gonna expose myself though. It's afternoon, that's the level today. I'm not washing my face till two in the afternoon. I love these clean skin club little towels. I'm low, but I have these on subscription on Amazon and it's so nice because they're just always there. Honestly, my skin is looking relatively even today. I think it's this new product I've been using. I also love these because I can wipe up the sink when I'm done, I always make a mess. So my hair, I think we're gonna put a hat on because Realistically, I'm not styling my hair today. Just throw my headband on for now. This has been my go-to lately, just to give my skin some extra hydration. And this helps your products really go deep into your skin. The Rode Milk Glazing Milk. I actually wanna stock up on her other products too, but you can see like the immediate glow that this gives. And then this I've been using the last like week which is supposed to do everything that I would want a skincare product to do. Even skin tone. Hydrate, firm and smooth, helps with pore and sebum care and improves skin texture. Skin texture is always my biggest thing, so I do feel like my skin's looking decent right now, so we'll see. But this is CosRx, and I feel like all their products are really good. You can see I'm also not being gentle. I'm really trying to like get the excess fluid. I'm definitely fighting some kind of like head cold today, so I feel congested and I feel like I just need to move everything around, get the lymphatic system going. I'm gonna use my First Aid Beauty eye cream because it's gonna give me a little glow that was too much don't use too much eye cream but look at the glow that this gives immediately and it's hydrating we love her then i'm going to do my tatcha dewy cream because i just need to be super hydrated okay we're gonna let that melt into the skin for a second i'm gonna brush my teeth when I have a couple extra minutes, I will ice roll a little bit because as you guys know, it just helps with puffiness and inflammation. And it's also, like I said, lymphatic drain, just like moving all of this stuff around that needs to be moved. Do you guys see this postpartum hair loss? It's already happening. Such a beautiful thing. I'm running on E today. Doing this little routine always makes me feel a little bit better when I need a little extra help, you know? This is definitely the best roller in the game, the skinny confidential one, because you don't have to keep it in the fridge. It's always cold. And I just, yeah, realistically, I'm not gonna put this in my refrigerator downstairs and then bring it upstairs. You know, if it goes in the fridge, I'll forget about it. Gonna start off with a little bit of my Lala Circuit The Filler Lip Mask, because again, hydration. I wake up and I put this on, I go to sleep and I put this on for bed. It's my go-to. And then really quickly before we do any makeup, I'm gonna do my number 12 from Lux Unfiltered for a little bit of like a tan. I try and do like six or seven drops of that. I like to do it after my moisturizer because I feel like the color comes out better than if I mix it with my moisturizer. You just have to make sure you wash your hands really good and let this sit for like four minutes before you put anything else on your face. And this color is not gonna show up until like tonight, probably when I take my makeup off, which is honestly really nice because then I'm like, oh, I have a little color. I'll wake up tomorrow. And I like to do that like every other day. It just helps even things out and it gives me a little color. This is starting to get so gray and dreary. Wash the hands. I already feel like a new human. If you're not a makeup girly, even just those steps are going to make you feel so much better. I also wanted to mention that I have my favorite Amazon set on. I'm trying to show you guys at the end before I go, but let's start. I'm gonna just put my aura ring on and my wedding rings. <laughs> and I'm gonna just throw on these cute little gold hoops that I literally wear every day from Amazon. I think they're so cute. They have like this little scalloping. I'm gonna give that tanner one more minute to kind of soak in. Just do my brow gel benefit. 24 hour, been using this for a million years, but this is just going to not add any kind of tint, gel them up, hold them in place. It's just gonna make you look more awake. And this step is just like so simple, but I feel like so important. If I don't do my brow gel, I feel so strange. For complexion, I like to mix a few things together. So I do my Fab Bronzer Drops. I do a little bit of my Say Glowy Super Gel like a pump of that and Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. Just like that much. I like to mix it together on the back of my hand so I don't do too much on my face. 
because this tends to be too much sometimes. And you can see this a little bit darker than my natural complexion, but that's kind of the point. Okay, we're just going to buff that into the skin. This is an Amazon makeup brush, part of the set that I have. And you can see how light that coverage is. It's so sheer, but it gives a little bit of a tan, a little bit of a glow, and a little bit more evenness. And it just makes me feel so much better, but I don't feel like it looks like I'm putting foundation on, which is my favorite part. It's just making everything a little bit better. For blush, I just can't get enough of Rode, and I actually got the, what I consider the fall shades which is Toasted Teddy, which is like kind of a brown. So I've kind of been using that as like a little bit of like a contour. It's more like a bronzer because it's a little bit more red. And then Sleepy Girl, which is, you can see this like mauve pink. I've been kind of mixing them together and I just apply it like this. It's so easy. And take any kind of fluffy brush and just blend that in in two seconds. And yeah, it's just gonna give some color and some shape to the face because of where I put it. I have to use a teeny bit of concealer just because clearly the under eye is just a little bit too dark. So Tower 28 is my favorite, like everyday super creamy, don't need much, but will blend out nicely. Just kind of cover up redness, do a little bit here to shape and that's it. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And I'm gonna grab my Patrick Ta bronzer. This is in She Sculpted, this shade right here. Same Amazon brush. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a cream bronzer there just to warm it up a little bit more. Shade is actual perfection on me. If you're similar skin tone, you'll love it. I've had this forever and I honestly forgot about it and I rediscovered and was so happy. And there's a powder bronzer in this palette too, which is nice because you can just put them together. All right, blend out that concealer. This is my favorite at Cosmetics brush. It's $50, but I don't know if there's sorcery in this, in this brush. When I'm not using my Amazon ones, this is the one I'm using. And I'll just use this to kind of marry everything together. We'll do a little bit of powder to set everything in place because you can see I'm just a little too shiny. I've been using the Mario powder and I like to put it on with a brush because I just feel like it ends up looking a lot less cakey, more natural. Also in this brush kit comes a big fluffy one. So when I wanna just dust the rest of my face, I'll grab the big fluffy one and kind of really lightly set the rest of the face. And then dip back into my Patrick Ta and I'm gonna use the powder, another one of the Amazon brushes that comes in that kit. And I'm just gonna set that bronzer that we did with the powder so it doesn't move. Even though this is like quick makeup, in my opinion, I still want it to last. So I need to take the proper steps. And I have to really hit this hairline because she's balding. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara, only on the top lashes and just a really light coat. This is my Say Mascara, it's my favorite. I never feel like I have a hard time with it. Not that we really need it, but I've been obsessed with this Kosas blush. It's Dreamland and it's like such a beautiful, like look at the glow. And it's like a bronzy peach almost. It's so subtle. I've been, you know, doing the like hot pink blush all summer. And now that we're into fall, I have just been in love with shades like this. Look how pretty that is. And look at my skin, guys. Do we remember where, where, we, where we started? I know I do. I'm going to grab my blush, sleepy girl, and just do a little on the lip so that I have some color. You can keep that lip mask on, keep things hydrated. If you want to go crazy, this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's just like makes it look a little more Polish, living proof, favorite dry shampoo. I actually think we can salvage the hair. No, no, I don't think so. I actually got this hat at the Amazon Creator Summit. It's Sweaty Betty, so I'm sure it's on Amazon. Look at, yeah, the hair's just not doing what I need it to, but I love this hat because it has a little drawstring, drawstring on the back. It's so easy to just throw on and tighten to your head. We did it, we're a human. And look at the face, guys. Like the face really came together. I love all those products. I'm gonna link everything for you guys. I hope that was like realistic for you guys because sometimes I do these videos and people will comment and be like, that's not realistic as a mom. And I'm like, I get it, but I do have a lot of steps. But though that's my cut down, that's my quick version. You can obviously cut out whatever doesn't work for you, whatever you don't think you need, but that's my reality. I need a sweatshirt. All right, let me show you guys the fit too, so you can get the full vibe. Okay, here's the set. LOL at my tripod. 
This is my favorite set ever. I do it in a size medium. It's just so flattering, so comfortable, so cute. Throw on some sneakers and a little jacket with this and I will be out the door. So that's my little mom glow up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, love you guys. I'll see you in my next one.